Um, I'm of the New York program that the state of New York offers matching dollars to counties and regions that fund tourism promotion. This is an agency that commits to raise funds privately to augment the county and state funding in order to carry out the promotion plan for 2013-14 tourism budget and to make this program a three-way county, state, and private partnership. <coughs> Barbara, great job. <laughs> Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. And the next one, Dee, do you want to bring this forward? Uh, I'd like to move forward to uh, agenda item 5B, approval of the county's participation in the Mid-Hudson Regional Sustainability Plan. This will enable the county to apply for grants through Governor Cuomo's Greener Cleaner Program. It's billions of dollars in funding. And just to be briefly go over, it focuses on, it focuses on areas of land use, livable communities, and transportation, energy, uh, materials management, agriculture, open space, and water. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, next is the Rules and Activities and Intergovernmental Relations Committee, led by Chairwoman Nasserino from Patterson. Thank you, Chairman Hotsman. On behalf of uh, myself, Legislative Casimano and Giacomo, I would like to um, move the um, forward with the appointment of Anthony Rosano um, to represent um, the contract representative for a two-year term on the Home Improvement Board as part of the recommendation of the Home Improvement Board. So, Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. <coughs> the next item I'd like to um, move forward with a, a budget transfer for the, um, the Commissioner of the Board of Elections um, in, for voting machines. Um, this is embedded to both the Rules and Actors and Intergovernmental Relations Committee as well as the Audit Administration Committee and there is zero fiscal impact. Um, this is for purchase of a van to move voter equipment. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. The next item on my agenda is to uh, approve of a local law for Chapter 25 of the Putnam title Councils and commissions, and in insert section six entitled Transportation Advisory Council. This is a uh, volunteer board, um, and we need to make a charter change in order to implement this. And the, um, the purpose of the board is to explore opportunities and to make recommendations to the county executive and the legislature, explore all facets of public transportation in order to improve better manage assets, leverage resources, and create partnerships to save dollars and improve transportation services. Discussion. Yes, um, Ms. Chairman, I want to thank the chairwoman of the committee and also the county executive for the inclusion under section 2540A1, uh, the phrase that I had asked to, to be included concerning the legislature. I, I thank you for the Any other discussion? I'd just like to say, former chairman of the legislature, many to my you're doing an A-plus job in this. It's really, it's really coming out well. You deserve a lot of credit for it, thank you. Okay, next, the Physical Services Committee, led by Chairman Albano from Carmel and the Civilized Section of Kent. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Chairman. Uh, I'd like to thank the Civil Service Section that he doesn't know. So the straight fall. I have a straight I have a straight fall. 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 I provide the correct culvert, the correct situation. No, I'm pretty sure that's good. Barbara's very happy about it. I'm very happy. Yeah. I wish you could move along a little faster than I'm right here. It would be done in two. <laughs> Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. 5J, approval resolution in support of the Putnam County use of quick funds to the County of Kent for the Kent Sewer District Project. This is $400,000, and I think it's a great idea. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, next, the Audit and Administration Committee, led by Chairman Castellano from Southeast. Uh, 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. On behalf of the legislature, I'm going to present the following item number 5K. It's approval of budgetary amendment to the Sheriff's Department for port security grants, $17,529 that we're going to take advantage of. I'd like to put forward. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 5L, 5L is the approval of budgetary amendment to the Commission of Finance to the SDO Program Partnership. This is, as discussed a few times before, we have this it's $90,825 that's coming in from the Mayfax school system. It's to provide SPO officers to control the schools. I obviously don't know what happened last December. We were uh, trying to get prepared for the September the school year starting. So I would like to put uh, this forward. It's had zero fiscal impact for uh, Putnam County. And I think it's a great program. I'd just like to comment uh, quickly on this also. Um, that I, I want to give a lot of credit to the county executive's office, to the sheriff's department, and to legislative gross uh, putting this together. We had three different departments that, you know, we go back and forth on different subjects. We disagree, we agree. But this is a really good thing. And uh, the superintendent of schools, uh, Thomas Manko from Mahopak, did a great job with this because he led this. And right now, Mahopak is the only district that's participating. But as uh, Joe said before, after what happened in Newtown, something had to be done. And we might be one of the first uh, counties in the nation that we have the, uh, you know, the school board and the school system coordinate with the county governments and different levels of the county government to put this forward. So, again, the sheriff, uh, I'm the sheriff of country, you there, you guys deserve an A plus for this, Mary Ellen, A plus. And Roger, you did a great job coordinating this. Thank you. Okay. And, uh, okay. Can I make one comment? Um, the program is off and running, and I want to commend also the superintendent of the schools of Mayor Pack, Tom Manko, for uh, taking the initiative and uh, <coughs> having uh, four uh, SPOs to operate. At our August 14th uh, Protective Services meeting, we'll get an update on how the SPO program is being implemented and how it's moving along. And, and, an SPO is a special patrol officer. It's a retired police officer, and they, um, they're trained in the certain requirements that Roger and the Sheriff's Department everyone put out that they have to be certain physical standards and training standards, and it, it, it's going to augment the DARE officers that are already in the school, and their job is basically security to make sure, you know, that they're not going to be working with students with, with you know, about drugs and everything else. Their job is going to be full security, and it's a really good thing. Any other discussion? Mr. Chair, we received 109 applications, of which we picked five, and these are newly retired police officers, so we're getting highly educated and trained officers and they'll be placed throughout the Mailback school system. So again, I want to commend, as, as Chairman Arthur said, uh, Tom Mango is the superintendent of Mailback schools as well as Don Smith, who's on the county sheriff. And um, this is a pilot program, so we have to uh, hopefully it will be very successful. And this may be one of uh, many for the other school districts to follow. Barbara Thorne, Mr. Brian. Okay. <laughs> Next. Oh. Oh. Keep forgetting the vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, uh, 5M, the approval of the budgetary amendment and commercial finance to receive Hudson Foundry Grant. It's um, 125000 incoming money and zero fiscal impact for Putnam County. And that's kind of oh. Any discussion? Barbara? I would like to say what a great project this is. The Foundry has we have to discuss, Richie, is an amazing area. It's where the Parry Garden was built, and it's, it's a huge part of our history with West Point right across the river. So anything we can do to help that area, we're going to do it. Thank you very much. I was oh. telling Barbara that I'll, I'll, I'll try to remember the vote this time, but I was telling Barbara I was down in Richmond last year. And in, in Richmond, on the James River, is the Tredgar Iron Works. And that's where the Confederates made their cannon. And it's a federal, it's a federal, uh, what do you call it? Uh, designated. Des designated federal uh, site. And it had, it's beautiful the way they redid it. And so we won the war, and our place is in ruins still. So we should be working on this. Working. Mm -hmm. Okay, all in favor? All right. Okay, uh, 5N. This is the um, budgetary amendment uh, County Executive's Office for the uh, County Corner Office. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to uh, separate and table the personal service issue and move it forward because we're just around the corner from uh, 
the budget process and certainly have a discussion with Benny and staff in, in committee, speaking with the accounting executive's office, speaking with the coroner's office. I think uh, at this present time, I think the right thing to do is to deal with all. Uh, I'll make a second to separate. Second to separate. Uh, do we need a roll call? We don't need a second. I don't need a second to separate? Okay. So I'm going to make the motion to table it. And I'll second that. Table in the first part. Table in the first part. And um, I'm going to. Yep, yeah, I'm going to. Well, it, uh, well, what I'm going to do is. Yeah, what I'm going to do is present it separately. I'm moving that and changing the FICA amount, which is the only change. Uh, so I'm going to present the following. Uh, I'm going to increase the following, and this is all coming out of contingency, of course. Uh, following ones are going to be the increase of the temporary line, which we had discussed in the audit last week. Uh, it's going to be $3,780. Post-mortem examinations is $36,000. This is money that we've got to cover with some of the bills that we've had. Uh, the contracts are um, $10,000, and the FICA will be up to, uh, will down to $289 for a total of $50,069. Um, and coming out of uh, the contingency will be that fifty thousand six hundred dollars. Uh, again, I want to say that um, the Dr. Marshall does a fantastic job. He's gone above and beyond everything you guys have. I can't ask him more. I don't think that's a job. You know, I know it's an elected position. I don't think there's many people who want to volunteer for that job. It's a tough job to do. I give him a tremendous amount of credit. And I just like to move it forward in that fashion. So what I do, I'm all right, we have a second. I'll, I'll second the table and then the first one. Okay. So the first is the one on the table. Roll call vote on this? Yeah. Okay. Roll call vote on the table of the first part. The first part, the personnel. Personnel. Legislate out that. Yes. Legislate has the amendment. Yes. Legislate to call that. Legislative groups. Yes. Legislative group. Yes. Legislative group. Yes. Legislative group. Yes. 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 Yes.
in, in the event that we keep to use it, I, I hope the state comes through and finds some of the signs of the But um, we're just moving it to the correct place. It's coming out of contingency of $150,000. And I would like to move Any discussion, Senator? Yeah, I, I just want to read into the record the resolution that the legislature adopted. And this, of course, goes in hand in hand with that. I'm going to start on. Uh, the whereas clause, uh, the third one from the bottom, it begins, whereas the Covington County Legislature believes that a one-year stopgap solution is presently needed with the hopes that a permanent solution can be reached, and whereas the Covington County Legislature believes that $150,000 should be made available from the 2013 county budget, and $150,000 be made available from the 2014 county budget to keep the current preschool program in operation, Whereas Park has indicated it would reimburse the county if funding is later received from the state. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Putnam County Legislature requests the county administration to prepare a budgetary amendment to the 2013 budget, allocating the money which we're doing right now, $150,000, and resolve that the legislature requests the county executive to include an additional $150,000 in the county's tentative 2014 budget for the preschool program. And that's, in essence, the, the, the resolution that we passed and approved by the county executive. So uh, this is certainly fulfilling that in uh, her yeah, I just want to add to that um, because I want to clarify that this money is desperately needed immediately. They are slated to open their doors in a couple of weeks, the beginning of September. So this money needs to be released. And it's not fair because they have taken, you know, people have um, applied, you know, registered for enrollment with their children and they're expecting the school to be open. So this funding needs to be released immediately. So I just want to go on with what I saying. Hello? Whoops. Hello, Paul. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, this is, um, this is going to be a hard thing because these are other mandates coming down from the state that they keep on funding and they give us a two percent tax cap. Right. And sooner or later, the, uh, the bubble's going to burst. And it, it, you know, it was a feel good measure at the last minute, but there's going to be some hard decisions to make. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, that, we're, we're, we're appreciative about this hundred fifty thousand that they going into that, right? Yeah, but it's not it's, it's not a forever standard. No, no, I don't they don't have absolutely. To, that's why the resolution it specifically states. This year, and then uh, you know, uh, budgetary consideration for next year, uh, and it doesn't go beyond that. And that's you important. You see what's so going on up there in the assembly and the senate. Those people, they can't shame themselves. Chaos. And they have the uh, responsibilities they put on us down here. Roger. Legislator Lebleu and myself have visited the uh, graduation, attended the graduation for the youngsters back. I think it was in May. It was a wonderful program, and you really see the needs being met and the services being provided and the importance of it. If Albany could see the activity and, and the rewards that come from it, there'd be no question of funding it. So it was a wonderful, wonderful morning we had. The county executive also was there, and it was it was a good good experience. So it was nice. It's well spent money if you see the faces of the children. And uh, I don't know the statistics, I think it's one in, in how many children are born with autism in the county? 50. Well, in New York. In New York State. So. And I'd rather see this money allocated for this purpose for the children as opposed to needless construction. Mm -hmm. no. Okay. All favor. Aye. Aye. Okay, uh, 5P is the approval of flash transfer of uh, appropriations for temporary line. Because uh, uh, when he's out on maternity leave, he can come to a temporary uh, person in the place of the time being. Uh, it's zero fiscal impact, we're just moving some money around to the, uh, the cost of the tent and the fight to cost the cost. So that will move forward. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Our Q is the approval of the grant application for the Sheriff's Department, uh, New York, uh, New York State Division of Homeland Security and Human Services, uh, almost 100 hours. There's no real money going to be forward to the grants that they're trying to apply for. Uh, it's a great program. Uh, it's certainly going back to the people of the county, the Sheriff's Office, and uh, it's going to be the best with the second application that we're going to move forward. 
second discussion? Discussion. I just want to uh, add to uh, legislative testimony. I said, uh, do you, this grant will fund this uh, canine dog that's trained to detect its explosives. I just want the public to know what this is specifically for. I don't know if anyone was able to see the 60-minute presentation on these dogs in the back and how incredible they are. They're being used to save lives and uh, how intelligent they are. They're able to detect explosives and save American lives. And the only spike in the S4 is no phones. <laughs> Um, just uh, whatever uh, going along with this, uh, what happened last week with the, um, the Al Qaeda? They said they have all these other targets, and everyone remember where we live. We have Amtrak, we have the Brewster trains, we have we're across from West Point, the Hudson River, Indian points down there, and they said they have they're going to go after these big targets. So this is you know anything we can do with the Homeland Security is part of it. I agree. This is a, a great idea to have this dog. It's always a benefit to the county, but I have to caution, there were some valid questions raised at our last community meeting about the cost of the dog, taking care of the dog, and whether this is going to be overtime for the sheriff that takes care of this dog. I just think going into the future, we have to have a definite cost on what the cost is going to be for the county in the future, after this grant runs out. That's a very good point. Maybe we should say to the Sergeant Meyer from the Sheriff's Department that brought this crime forward. So, kudos to the Sergeant Myers. But how come the dog is a chihuahua? <laughs> 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 Got a good dog. <laughs> 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 I actually said the breed of the dog. It's not German Shepherd, it's a mixture. Oh, do you know? Belgian. Belgian. It's a Belgian Shepherd, which I think is a shepherd. It's a shepherd. It looks more like a wolf than a long hair. Okay, there is no other business tonight. Oh, we're going to vote. All in favor? Aye. Okay, no other business. Uh, item 7, recognition of public. Anyone from the public would like to put the right street? And then just state your name for the records. My name is Susan Alonso. I'm the director of the AOC. And I just want to thank them very much for everything you've done for our preschool. I want to thank Mary Ellen. Always been a great support, and uh, and I can't thank you enough. Really. And my, uh, I, I told you this at the time of the resolution. And I will repeat it now that I'm working very hard with the state of New York, the state education department, to get appropriate funding for our programs so that we can continue and hopefully pay some of this back. Thank you very much. Thank you for the Thank you. 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 Thank you, Mary Allen, our county executive. I really appreciate it. This is going to be a great project. We're hoping to bid down August 20th. Hopefully, to have a trouble in the ground in September. So, thank you again. Great. Thank you. Anyone else from the public? Okay, recognition of legislators. We'll start with you and work our way around. Okay. Department. My finger hurts a little bit, but for testing us for hepatitis 
state and making the public and the county aware of what a you know, significant danger that this is for the public. And thank you. It's going to be offered free to the county people. Thank you, Dr. Beals. And the staff. Dr. Beals, would you like to say anything about the hepatitis C testing here? Well, I'd like to thank all the members of the legislature and the county executive from Dell for setting such a fine example for our community. And I'm sure it will encourage uh, everyone to get tested and we will indeed save lives. We all got our results. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay, do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. All favor.